Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the new Lego Star Wars Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter set. This is set number 75391 it has 99 pieces, and I paid $13 for this set. So I uh, was pretty excited when this was announced and revealed. I know that many people who got their Captain Rex figure with the... Uh, was that a... It was a UCS set. It wasn't the Super Star Destroyer, was it? But there was some other expensive set that came with this figure and as far as I know this is the exact same figure I know that there were there was the market for this particular figure was going crazy for a while I personally think it's a good thing to put it in a in a micro fighter I I, uh, uh, I know that people are you know mad if they anticipate a particular figure being you know any quote-unquote investment but uh, I like that this figure is uh, of a particular quality, a particular level of quality, and is available and is relatively affordable. Uh, on the price, I'll talk more about that later. I'm glad it's not 16 like the Mandalorian and Grogu one. I still think 10 would be probably better, but I'll have to see because I'll have to have this in my hand. But either way, uh, in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I'll speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So until then, enjoy! Okay, so while we look at the build for this LEGO Star Wars Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter set, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and then remind you, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other video, click the subscribe button. This is the first video I'm recording officially after reaching uh, 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. I'll have a follow-up video in a little bit about a giveaway and other stuff. It just means a ton to me, so I really, really appreciate it. And this came comes together uh, pretty quick, so now on to my review for this set okay so this is the lego star wars micro fighter called captain rex y-wing micro fighter i um generally i like it i think so that's pretty good and i will uh get into it here and we'll look at the minifigure like we normally do that's the first thing we will look at and also because this was such a i think uh a contentious debate around uh this sort of the availability of this but here we have the captain rex figure they do have whoops i was going to say they do have two uh blasters there and I also lost their antenna from their helmet. I had a little bit of trouble getting one in there to stay, and then I thought I got it. There we go. Uh, I'll take the blasters away, but you do get two of those. Uh, looking at Captain Rex here, we have a nicely detailed uh, helmet here. We'll get the printing kind of underneath there, along the side does have some kind of special markings, special different light blues and things, different line weights here, uh, like hash marks uh, or tally marks kind of up on the top there, which is nice. does come with all the accessories that are pre-packaged with several of them. So you get four of the visor and four of the antennas. This just calls for one. Uh, back of the helmet is not printed at all. That's okay. Um, a big thing for this figure is we do get the uh, kind of arm cape pauldron thing. It's a it's a fabric piece there with the you know different colors on there, uh, and it is a kind of the um, stiffer fabric, not really like the super soft fabric. So it holds its shape pretty well. I think it's over the uh, left shoulder there. Uh, pretty well looking at the torso we have some pretty good detail here so some good stuff up at the top to differentiate captain rex from other characters who uh, are in a similar uh, suit there similar armor 
again, nice detail, nice uh, different line weights and different elements uh, there. We do have printing on the midsection. We do have printing on the legs. So we even have, whoops, we have like a little printing up there on the side. The midsection is just on the side. Looking at the legs, it's kind of uh, down a little bit, kind of has the knee pad area sort of there and then a little bit on the feet and then we have printing on the arms which is another thing that's really nice to see here so looking at the one arm we have the blue stripe going down there we have the different kind of black lines to kind of accentuate some of the curves and the panels and everything there's even a little bit of uh, some you know buttons or a little display kind of on the cuff area and the other arm also has uh, some printing and it's not the exact same because you can see on this one we have a little bit of a, a, a spot where maybe the painting or the material is like rubbed away a little bit and same on this side but in a different spot so one kind of up there one on the side and then we also have those tally marks kind of down on the cuff there looking at the back of the figure um, pretty standard back for this kind of uh, figure here and uh, but but good detail nonetheless looking at the minifigure head um, we can see the Captain Rex head here. Uh, it's kind of got the standard clone uh, face, but it does have the extra little detail there to differentiate it again. Uh, no alternate face for this and no hair piece or anything like that. Um, so that's the minifigure. I, I, I'm almost certain this is the same exact one from a really expensive set. And I, I don't even remember what that set was at this point. Um, and you know now that it's available the price for buying one of these is probably plummeted uh, and i i don't have a ton of sympathy for people who were quote unquote investing in um this particular figure uh i do have sympathy for the people who really wanted this figure but were not able to get it for whatever reason due to availability or the price or the price of the set that it comes in uh, and all that stuff so uh, I'm glad it's here if this is the exact same one you know it's still not like incredible I mean it's pretty good for a Star Wars figure but like you know it's not dual molded legs they probably wouldn't do that for a clone figure there's no printing on the side of the legs that could have really turned it up a notch and it's also a way to maybe differentiate the the ucs style figs from the play scale ones but i don't know if they really want to do that i think there's a set that comes with the r2d or sorry the c3po that's got like a different leg and different printing and that one might have never been released in play scale but i don't know if the market's as um it's as desired within the market as this captain rex was so i think this is great to get uh this character here it's it's nicely detailed all things considered and i think for people who know captain rex they will know who this is so that's all good like i said you do get the two blasters there and then the rest of the set is the micro fighter which is this um y-wing here kind of in the same kind of color scheme there i really like micro fighters uh I, I think they're fun, I think they're cute, I think they're good toys, uh, and as I said before, I like seeing different vehicles at different scales, so I would love, you know, Lego to do another, a Y-Wing like this, maybe with these colors, or I think they have done um, a UCS Y-Wing in the past, but, uh, you know, something like this, do a play scale one, do a micro fighter one, and do a UCS one just to kind of see how it changes and how it's adapted and where the kind of loss of detail is compensated for and where all of the details are put in um, at the different scales so uh, as well as features and functions and all that stuff so it is a y-wing so we have these two kind of barrel sort of thrusters extending out past the uh, back and I'm only now am I Wait a minute. I, I do have these on backwards, but that's because I put the uh, 
disc piece on the wrong piece it's or on the wrong side so it's supposed to look like uh, you know thrust coming out of there so now that we have that correctly at least uh, it that's good so I uh, do like that those were built the exact same way they're held in by one Technic pin and then a Technic pin that has a pin on one side and an axle on the other so um, that's cool and uh, I think they look nice scale wise I think they're appropriate for the most part so I'm okay with that um, you build those in the second bag of pieces in the first bag of pieces you start with this 2x8 uh, you add some brackets all up on the front add this on the back and then like these uh, 2x6 and 1x6 then we uh, kind of build up the rear a little bit with some like, kind of corner bricks and other plate on top we tile everything out here we cover up the Technic Bic, uh, brick pretty well and I actually think you know you can see that Technic pin in there but because it's white and blue for most of this you know that blue doesn't really stand out if and I think it would stand out more if it was say tan or something so I really uh, am okay with that we do have some stud shooters or tile shooters on either side here uh, just and I forgot to put a piece on to hold that down wow I am just uh, slacking today um, but there we go so we do use that slope and a brick above it to kind of get that down and uh, I think that's uh, nice we have these kind of up front for maybe sort of blaster things uh, we do have the dashboard here nice angled plate here I do like this curve so the cheese wedge to this kind of inverse uh, slope piece I think that's a nice there and then we do have the printed kind of council or dash area and then four studs for this character to sit there is not um, you know a place for the uh, blasters to be you know tucked away or hidden or stored really uh, neither the uh, the extra uh, ammunition is also not super easy to store so you know, on the official images on the box and on um, the image on the instructions it does have Rex holding both of these here so that is fine like that um, I do have tiles loaded in the tile shooter stud shooters there and you do get two extras uh, you theoretically could you know store them on here just so everything is the same I don't personally feel that that you know ruins the design or or makes it too inaccurate or anything you could put them up here on the front of the kind of thruster areas there which is in pretty close proximity to those which might be a thing you could also put them on the end of these sort of uh, blasters I think at the front uh, so you know there's there is some options there I mean you could probably put them right on this stud above the stud shooters as well I don't think any of that is you know uh, the intended necessarily theoretically they could go here anywhere there there's an exposed stud that's easy to access I think is uh, good and where did that other one go oh yeah I put it back here <laughs> uh, so you know I don't think that's too weird either I just like having a place to store extra projectiles kind of all in the uh, set and that's the same for accessories I would have loved for those to have a spot I don't know if there is a great spot to have them clipped anywhere or uh, you know there's enough room in here so that's fine I'm trying to see if I have another micro fighter near me to compare this with but I I think they're uh, quite, quite far away so I would compare this to kind of the Mandalorian Grogu I think that one was the N1 um, Starfighter and uh, this one's the the Y-Wing and you know this is a classic shape for a Star Wars ship uh, I think the colors are kind of specific to Captain Rex in a, a specific era of Star Wars but I think this captures it relatively well I'm not a 
super fan and I'm not like a, a real big stickler for uh, accuracy necessarily necessarily but i do like a fun lego set i do like an affordable lego set uh and i i do appreciate these as um as you know scaled down versions of things so i i really like that i think that's everything i need to talk about for the build and the minifigure i'll show the extra pieces uh, i kind of already mentioned these these kind of helmet accessories come pre-packaged uh, you get four of the visors and four of the antennas you only need to use one of them for Captain Rex here. So you do get those extra. And then we have some other extra pieces here, like this bar element that is used in the middle of the thrusters there, the kind of trigger mechanism for the stud tile shooters. We do get another extra of the red translucent round tile, which we have the two here, two in the tile shooters, and then one more. Uh, and then your one by ones, your studs, your tiles, your Technic pin, and that's everything. Uh, this set is 99 pieces, one minifigure, and it has a retail price of $13. That's what I paid for it. I want to say, I, I didn't follow the market too, too much, um, but I want to say at one point people were selling these Captain Rex figures for 50 60 70 80 dollars maybe a hundred dollars maybe more uh i seemed i thought i remember them being like up to yeah up to a hundred dollars or plus which is i think you know there there are specific minifigures that are incredibly rare they're maybe made of metal or they're you know there was only one ever made or there was a, only a hundred ever made or some other thing that makes the market price of them very very high i think there's also because what's isn't there a boba or Django from the cloud city set originally that's like really really expensive and there's there's all sorts of stuff like that if they only came in one set and that set's from 20 years ago you know and if they had production issues where the torso was cracking or the arms were cracking or whatever else to find like a pristine version of that figure is is difficult and so they have a, a high price you know this one it's a new one i don't know if people had really any idea that lego was going to be putting out this micro fighter set that was coming with this figure um but i i don't know if you know when this figure came out in that ucs set I don't know if it was worth a hundred dollars but i suppose on some level it's worth what people will pay for it and for the people that really really wanted it and paid a lot of money for it well i mean now they can have many of them for the same price and you know i i don't know if there is any difference i don't know if we'll see people selling them saying like oh this one's from the ucs versus this one's from the micro fighter or uh if this uh, figure is going to be in other sets but i'm glad it's here i think that does add to the value of this you know the mandalorian minifigure and the grogu kind of tiny figure for the n1 micro fighter those are pretty common um they're good quality i, I the man mandalorian is pretty good quality uh with good printing and different stuff um it's it's detailed and that's really nice but that figure is in many sets of different sizes and price points and stuff um and i didn't really feel like that micro fighter was worth 16 dollars, even considering the grogu or whatever because it has the baby yoda tax and whatever else um so when this one was announced it was going to be 13 dollars. you know do i feel like this build is a a eight dollar build or something like that I mean, I think this is comparable to the $10 Friends and the $10 uh, City sets in some ways. Maybe the $10 um, Minecraft sets as well. And in that way, I, I think this is, you know, kind of fair value. I know Disney, Star Wars, whatever. Um, maybe that's the extra three dollars or some of the city sets are eleven dollars or instead of ten or something like that this one is 13. um i i would have 
preferred this to be at $10. I, I understand a little bit why it's not, uh, but I'm also very glad it's not 16 or 17 or anything like that. Uh, I think it is kind of nice right where it is. I think it would be better if it was cheaper because even if the difference between $10 and $13 isn't that significant, it's like a 30% increase. And I feel like the $10 price point is really, really nice for impulse buys for younger people or people who have an allowance or something where maybe they get, you know, $5 or $10 every however often. I don't know how parents do that stuff. But if that was a thing, you know, I think having it at the $10 cutoff is kind of nice. Uh, and there's not other Lego products on the shelves that, you know, kind of make up the difference where it'd be something like you get this for $13 and you get this for seven. So if you had $20, for example, um, but if you had uh, this at $10, you can get another $10 set or two poly bags or something else like that. So I, I think it's important to have stuff, you know, not everything needs to be on a every $5 or anything like that. And Lego has been moving towards that with kind of median pricing th or, you know, pricing things on not fives or zeros. Uh, so things being $28, things being $34 and, and all sorts of things. Uh, the speed champions are $27. And uh, I'm, I'm not against that. Uh, really, I don't think it's a it's I don't think it's good if it's strictly, you know, profit driven and using inflation as a, an excuse, um, because I don't think that's a good excuse and I don't personally see why Lego or the Lego group has to make a specific margin consistently forever um, so even if the even if the cost of their pieces or the, the raw material like went up or they have new mold or they have new things like I understand that they essentially pass it on to the consumer um, I, I wish they didn't. I personally believe that they can afford to make less money. And, um, you know, if you can afford to do that, maybe consider doing it. Uh, but they want to be a premium brand. They want to be uh, the big thing. And if, you know, people buy stuff, people buy Lego at what prices they put it at. And so this is $13. It's better than 16 It's better than 15 not as good as 10. That's my kind of feeling on this, but maybe it is because the minifigure was like so huge. Maybe that's what pushed it over. I, I don't uh, totally know, but I was happy to look at this. I was fine paying the $13 for this set. And uh, yeah, I, I'm um, okay with everything here. I think that the design is, you know, pretty simple, pretty basic, not as maybe crazy detailed or anything like that um, I think notably the I think it's the N1 micro fighter also that had maybe 88 pieces and this one has 99 um, so that one was more expensive but you got the little Grogu uh, but it had fewer pieces this one you get like a, a formerly expensive uh a minifigure and you get 11 more pieces and it's a little bit cheaper so you know if I were to compare these two I might pick this one even if I don't know if I would say if I had them both in front of me which one I preferred but I I do uh, I do like this I'm, I'm a fan so I'm glad that it exists I hope uh, the people that want this figure the people that want this set are able to get it and I think that's uh, everything. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and give it a like. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more Lego Star Wars, um, more micro fighters, and then tons of other Lego sets, more of the new sets that came out in the last couple months when I was looking at a lot of like retired sets and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to get back into it. We have surpassed 1,000 subscribers as of the 
time of recording this, which is incredible. I'll have a video uh, put out regarding a giveaway um, either before this comes out or so it'll already be out or maybe slightly after this comes out. But uh, I really appreciate everybody who subscribed and uh, it, it's very, very helpful and, you know, on the road to 2,000 subscribers now, which is uh, incredible and maybe I'll get there someday but I'm just happy to be able to do this. Uh, if you did want to support the channel and support me in a different way uh, by giving money to the channel, you could do that here on YouTube with membership supers and thanks. You get some with memberships, you get some like extra kind of uh, in things with that. Uh, or I have the Patreon. It's in the video description on my channel page, patreon.com slash so bricks. So maybe consider checking those things out. Uh, it's not necessary. It's not needed, but it does help and it is meaningful and I appreciate it a lot. So, um, you know, thank you to the people that do do that, but just thank you everybody for watching. It's, uh, really, really nice. I have fun doing this. And, uh, if people out there, you know, have enjoy, occasionally the things I have to say or watching the build process or or whatever else then that is uh, just incredible so thank you very much and with all that said until next time thanks bye